recently I got a question about an academic postdoc versus an industry postdoc um, and what my thoughts were on either one and today I'll be answering that question comparing those two. Hey there my name is Dr. Gertrude Nantra and on this channel I create videos around slaying grad school and navigating the career market after the fact. Now I myself did an academic postdoc for about two years and 11 months. I was just a month away from hitting three years when funding run out. And that's the point I want to make with this is that with academic postdocs, most of the time it depends on funding, the funding that your PI has, or if you have written a grant, a postdoctoral grant, it depends on that. Okay. So it depends, all things being equal, most of the time postdocs in academia will go anywhere between four and five years. People may even stay on for a sixth year. Whereas in industry, postdocs tend to be shorter. Th those tend to be between two to four years. But in either case, they both serve the purpose of preparing you as a scientist, either to work in academia or to work in industry, right? So apart from the lengths being slightly different, what it does is that it does set you up for a career in those places. Now, this doesn't mean you can't move from academia into industry. Neither does it mean you can't move from industry into academia. What it just means is that when you have an industry postdoc, you're already primed to get a job in industry. Now, if you've been around this channel for a little bit, then you know that, or even if you've tried to apply as a PhD, it's to industry positions. You know that this is not such an easy thing, especially if you want to be a scientist in industry, but you don't have any industry experience. And so getting a postdoc for most people is a really good stepping stone for them to build the career that they want in industry. All right. So if you're able to get an industry postdoc, it's such a great opportunity because you're already there. So if you're looking for people with industry experience, okay, then you are right there and you can apply for that role and leverage your postdoctoral experience in industry as the experience that's needed as a scientist in industry. Now, for the most part, when you work in academia, when you have kind of like a background I have, you have a PhD in the biomedical sciences or pharmaceutical sciences and so on. Most of the time you're working on basic science projects. Okay. So you are dealing with the fundamentals, the basic science underlying disease, underlying drugs drug action, underlying, you know, pathogenesis, you are doing the basic science. Whereas most of the time in industry, yes, there may be some basic science, but mo the purpose of industry, the purpose of bi um, biopharmaceutical companies or medical device companies and so on is to bring a product to the market, right? Not every product they research is going to get to the market, but that's the ultimate goal. And so most of the time you as a postdoc researcher in in industry will definitely be working on projects that are later down that pipeline that research pipeline that allows products to be brought to market. So that's another mind frame to be in. And I think that's why sometimes they ask for industry experience is that they want people who are in that frame of mind and who already have that training so that potentially they don't have to train people. But to be honest, <laughs> makes no sense because all of us starts at point zero, right? I also find having been in academia for almost a decade or maybe over a decade, that things tend to move slower in academia. I'm not really sure why, but things definitely tend to move slower. Whereas in industry, because again, they have more of a business focus. They have to make money. They have to generate income. They have to make investors happy, right? Because they have to do all of that. Things tend to be faster paced. I remember I was working in a lab um, when, when I was doing my postdoc, one of my coworkers ended up going into industry. And that was one of the things that he um, mentioned that things are really fast paced. And sometimes they just even just drop projects, right? Whereas in academia, projects can live on forever and ever, <laughs> right? Whether the project is working or not, like we try to eke 
like every little bit of life out of that project. In industry, on the other hand, they may drop a project and just let it go if it's not working, if it's not doing what they need it to do so that they can move on to the next thing that may be the thing that, you know, goes to markets. Also, you can expect that if you are working in academia, you probably will be doing more grants writing and writing for money, right, to support your research versus an industry where the money is already there and you may not necessarily need to write grants. Now, I'm not saying that you won't write grants at all as an industry postdoc, but because a lot of these companies that take on postdocs in industry do have the money already built into their R&D budget, that's where you're going to be paid from versus being paid from an NIH grant, for instance. And so because of that, it tends to be that industry postdocs get paid a little bit more than if you were in academia. Now, of course, a little bit more depends on where you live. If you live in an expensive place and they're paying you, you know, whichever amount you're thinking about, it may be great. You may be living in another place and it's not so great. So all of that is really relative and has to do with the standard of living of where you live. So that may be something that you take into consideration as you choose whether you want to do a, an academic postdoc or an industry postdoc. So which one do you go with? Well, where do you want to end up? Do you really, really have a need to work in academia? Then go for an academic postdoc because it's going to help you build your network. You're going to publish more papers. And that's another thing I didn't even talk about that. Yes, in industry, there are papers that are published, but most of the time that's a big thing in academia, right? So if you know that you're going to stay in academia and you want to get ahead in academia, then we all know that in academia it's publish or perish, right? So an academic postdoc will give you an opportunity to publish more papers, whereas an industry postdoc may be not. And an industry postdoc, however, if you really want to work in industry as a scientist, as an application scientist, as somebody that eventually becomes a leader in industry, right? take up leadership positions in industry, then you may want to start out as a postdoc in industry. So it really has to do with what your career goals are. And I know that sometimes, you know, coming up with what you want your career goals to be can be difficult, but look at what you want to do long term, what excites you, what kind of projects you want to work on, where do you want to end up? Do you want to be in leadership in industry? Do you want to be in leadership in academia? Where do you want to be? Once you decide where you want to be, this will help you choose which postdoc path to toe.